Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading called, Who Will You Marry and What Is Their Name? I am so excited to do this reading, you guys. So many of you have been asking for this reading and today is the day, here it is. Now, before we get started, just some disclaimers. Remember to always trust your own intuition and your own inner guidance above all else. I'm intending that each one of you will choose the specific reading that fits you the best. And especially when it comes to the names, some of these names really could be, for some of you guys, the name of this person, okay? But this is a general reading, so keep that in mind. It may not resonate with everyone, and there could be parts of it that resonate with you, parts of it that don't. If this does resonate, definitely definitely let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear that. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I have a goal of hitting 50K by the new year, and I would love for you to be a part of that and to see more of the free readings I post here on my channel almost every day. So are you guys ready to get started? If you are, Go ahead and relax, take some deep breaths, ground yourself, and choose the card or the crystal that you feel you resonate the most with. Which one of these crystals are you drawn to the most? We have number one, the Leopard Jasper Crystal. Number two, the quartz crystal. Number three, the raw quartz crystal. Number four, the yellow citrine crystal. And number five, the aventurine crystal. Once you have chosen, you can fast forward to your reading by heading to the comments below where my lovely subscribers help me by posting the timestamps. Thank you guys once again for your help with that. And if you choose number one, we're going to get started. So we're going to look into the energy of this person, what they're like, who they are, the role that they will play in your life, and we'll also get some name options. Okay, so first of all, we have the Prince of Wands. I really like this card and this personality. This is a really great person. This is definitely someone who is outgoing, somebody who is very adventurous. The energy of this person is almost a little childlike. They do have maturity to them, okay, but they have a strong connection with their inner child. You might end up traveling a lot with this person or perhaps move somewhere or change residence with them. This person can get a little bit restless sometimes. So they're very creative. If you are a free spirit, a free thinker, and you like maybe living off the grid, or you like to travel, or you like adventure, or you like to be out in nature, or you're looking for a big change in your life, this is the kind of person you can do that with. Um, <clears throat> this person will definitely spark your creativity around them. You will be talking about so many ideas, maybe even on the first date with this person, you're talking about big dreams, big desires that you have. This person will not judge your biggest dreams or desires. They wanna figure out how they can help you to achieve those. They really wanna support you. This is the kind of person you can really have a great partnership with. They are an original thinker. So some of their views may shock you. Some of their ideas may shock you. They, they wanna change the world, they really do. So this could be somebody who's like a social worker or a teacher or some type of mentor or guide or counselor, or um, they could be working in politics or they could be um, 
I mean, honestly, this person could pretty much do anything. They're so versatile. Uh, people like this tend to like to work with the earth a lot. So they could be um, an architect or somebody who does landscaping, a builder, a creator of some sort. Definitely a uh, strong potential of this person being an artist, maybe even perhaps a musician. Um, and they've changed careers many times in their life. This person's stable though. No matter what they do, no matter what changes they make, abundance follows them, opportunities follow them, and they're always making friends with very interesting, unique, artistic people. So this is somebody who likes to plan. I think that's what grounds them in their energy. They're a planner. So they are spontaneous, but they take calculated risks. That way you won't feel like this person's just all over the place, you know? Um, they've had a rough past. Um, and I think part of this is kind of the catalyst that helped them to become so unique and original. They're very independent. They're not um, dependent on their family or their group of friends. This is not a codependent person. And you'll also feel like being with this person, they've really chosen to be with you. They might not have had a lot of long-term relationships, or if they did, they weren't as, um, as strong of an energy. I also feel like there's this uh, message with this person of really feeling like this is the love of your life because you know they've chosen to be with you because you are you. They're not just wanting to be in a relationship. This person never saw themselves being married, never saw themselves settling down. So when they propose to you or when you propose to them or whatever, it's gonna be this big shock of like them kind of like, wow, I didn't expect that, that they'd really want to settle down. <laughs> but they see marriage with you as like an adventure. Okay, so just because this is Prince of Wands doesn't mean it's a male. This could be a female. It could be a male or it could be a they. Um, this isn't necessarily about a gen uh, gender here, but this is a strong masculine energy, which means they are very assertive. They do like to pursue. Um, they like to take charge in life. Um, this person like wants to move up in the world. So this could be somebody who is like a boss or has their own company, definitely entrepreneur energy. Somebody who's once again, very restless, likes to move, likes to travel a lot. Somebody who has a youthful disposition, okay? This person could be younger than you or they could be like one of those people that's just forever young. Um, <laughs> this person is very knowledgeable, very opinionated. Um, very ambitious, I have to say, but they're, they're also a very calm person. They're passionate, but they're, they don't, I don't see them as an angry person. So it's, it's unique to see somebody like this who's so passionate, so opinionated, who isn't like, doesn't really get angry. Like there's like this chill energy about them. Um, they're a passionate pioneering spirit. So next we see kind of a clarification of that with the Prince of Spring, somebody who's charming, self-confident, passionate, restless. I mean, look at these two cards. How crazy is that? Like this is the same type of energy, except he's riding a rabbit here. <laughs> and this rabbit is a symbol of fertility and abundance. This is somebody who might be open to having children um, if that's what you want. Um, somebody who definitely, once again, draws abundance in. They have a very fiery energy, so they might be a fire sign. They might have a fire sun or a fire moon, or they could um, just have a lot of fire in their chart. Somebody who takes immediate action, somebody who likes challenges. Um, this is going to be a very, very passionate relationship. <laughs> so this is, they like to make the effort. So they will make the effort with you. Um, I see this symbol of, um, them reaching out to you first, approaching you first. So this person will find you. And we see a soulmate energy here with this person. Um, it says, yes, this person is your soulmate. So when you meet them, you will know because there will be this sense of familiarity around them, this soulmate recognition. Um, and they might even acknowledge the fact that you're their soulmate. They might not, this is a person who probably isn't into that kind of stuff and might not even believe in it, but they will acknowledge that with you. Um, but we also see worth waiting for here. Divine timing is at work in your love life. At this point, you might be like, where is this person? <laughs> or who knows? Maybe some of you guys already know this person. But divine timing, you're going to have to wait, be patient. This person is definitely out there for you. So 
let's look at some potential names. I'm gonna pull up some male names and some female names. I'm using like this random name generator. Um, and I'm gonna read them off to you slowly. Maybe some of these names will resonate. Um, this could be seen as a nickname. Some of these names might be like unisex names or nicknames. And I'm just gonna read off a couple names and um, we'll just see if that resonates. So the first name we have is John or Jonathan or Johnny. Next, we have a possibility of the name being Freddie or Fred or Richard. So we've got Richard or Rich or Rick. Then we have a uh, Tobias. Uh, we have a uh, Camden or maybe Caden. Then we have J Vaughn or J. Maybe Devon or Devon. Uh, Quinton is another name. Um, we have Remington or Remy. Alonzo. Allen. Brandon, Jeremy, Darian, Lewis, and Davian. So those are some options. I'm going to pull up some more female names. Okay, so we have um, Charlotte, Jacqueline or Jackie, Olivia, Iris, Aliyah, Alex or Alexandra, Veronica, Ashanti, Ellie, Kara or Kiara, Jania, and Juliana or Julie. So those are some possible names. I hope that this resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number two, let's look into the energy of this person that you will marry and kind of see what's going on with them. And then we'll look into some possible names, okay? Wow, so you got the King of Pentacles. Now, just because there's a male on this card does not mean this person is necessarily a male. This could be a female or it could be somebody who, um, male, female, or they energy. This is not necessarily um, about gender here. It just means that they have a masculine energy. Um, we all have the divine masculine and divine feminine components in us. One is usually a little bit stronger. So this person is a little bit more divine masculine based, which means they're very logical. Um, they're very, uh, you know, outward, very direct. They are the kind of person that likes to pursue <clears throat> assertive energy. So the King of Pentacles, I always call them the moneymaker, okay? This is somebody who is like building a legacy in life. Um, they're very happy. The word jovial comes to mind with this person. They have a really fun, earthy, sarcastic sense of humor. That might be something you bond with this person first, is they're just making you laugh. You're laughing so much on your first date with them. They make you feel good. Um, they, this is somebody who works very hard for their living. So work and providing for the family is very important. This is somebody who's very traditional, so they wanna make sure they can provide for you or provide for the family or that they contribute um, to the abundance. This is somebody who is has worked hard their whole life and at this point when you meet them, they're gonna have like a lot of success. They probably already have their own home or their own property. Um, they've got that richy rich type of energy. So this is somebody who has money, you know? Um, this is somebody who's very big hearted. They're like the big softy kind of energy. So very tender hearted, um, and very energetic and also somebody who's very practical. So they're practical. They have common sense. This is somebody that like when you're freaking out or stressed, like they will know how to calm you down practically. Like they'll know if like, okay, well you just need to eat something or, you know, here, how about you take a bath? Or do you just need a big hug? Or do you need just someone to listen to you? Like, it's weird, like they can almost read your mind. They always know what you need. And you guys have that like telepathy between you. Um, this is somebody who can, who's very good at like mathematics um, and problem solving. Um, and I also see this person can 
it's difficult. They like things kind of the same way. They like tradition. They can be a little bit slow to change. They can be slightly stubborn, but like in an, in an endearing way. Um, and they really like routine and they like structure. Um, this person is, uh, has a solid sense of purpose, uh, really strong instincts. Um, they love nature, so this could be somebody who likes to work in nature or who does building or construction or maybe uh, real estate or invests or something like this. Um, this is somebody who trusts their basic instincts. Um, they're very wealthy. They're always doing business deals and stuff like that. Um, they like to take vacations where they can just be alone, isolated in nature with you. Very romantic kind of energy here. So next we see the King of Spring energy, which really pairs well with this card. It's somebody who's very innovative, somebody very inspiring, somebody wise, somewhere, someone theatrical. So they might have a very loud voice or booming voice or a very strong presence when they walk in the room, all eyes turn to them. This is somebody who's very attractive, okay? They might have a nice body or be very physically fit. Um, they know how to dress themselves. They're not too fancy, but they, they always look nice. And um, this is somebody who brings a lot of finances into your life, okay? Uh, they are a leader and they will support your cause. They will invest in you both with their money and their time and of course with their love. To further kind of paint a picture of this person, this is somebody who's very compassionate very accomplished, very charismatic and gifted. So um, they know how to be assertive. This person will fight for you. If anybody messes with you, they will fight for you. They will be on your side. They will advocate for you. Like they will protect you. Um, and I think when you meet this person, you're really gonna just feel like combining your life with them, everything will feel like it's going your way. This is a very good person to work alongside with, to live alongside with. And we see more messages about finances and career here. This person could invest in your career, or if you wanna go back to school, or if you, maybe they'll work and you can stay home, or like there, there's a lot of flexibility here. And, and this is a big factor when you meet them, Marrying them isn't going to be difficult because they'll be able to provide you with the kind of wedding you've always dreamed of. So if you always dreamed of having like a big wedding or wanting to have a honeymoon and travel, this person will provide that and you guys together are a force to be reckoned with. So yes, we see wedding here. We see confirmation. You will be marrying this person and then this could be the one. <laughs> So um, I've got this name generator here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate some possible names. Now I am gonna do a couple names for male, a couple names for female. Some of these names will be unisex. These are just possibilities and we'll see if this resonates. So first we've got some more female sounding names here. Um, so we've got Isabel, Naomi, Allie, Rose, Bridget, Estrayu, Kaylin, Danielle, Ellie, Madison, Amira, Autumn. All right, now I'm gonna do some more uh, male sounding names. So we've got Isaiah, Max, or Maxwell, Khalil, Damien, Jay, or Jalon, Alex, Colt, or Colton, Brendan, John, Ross, Bruce, Dennis, Adam. There we go. So I hope that that resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number three, let's get some info about this person you will marry in the future and we'll even get some potential names. So what have we got here? 
So we've got the Princess of Swords. Now, just because there's a female on this card does not necessarily mean this person is a female. Um, this is just that they have a strong divine feminine energy, which means they're very artistic and very intuitive. This could be somebody who is male. This could be someone who's female, or this could be someone who identifies as they, okay? So the Princess of Swords, this is somebody who is very bright, very gifted. They're very gifted with words and communication and writing. This person might actually be a writing, or, or, sorry, a writer or a journalist or somebody that writes for a living or speaks for a living or teaches for a living. It's definitely someone very inspiring. They might want to write you love letters or poems or write music for you. Um, they're very, they're a dreamer. This person is a dreamer and they're very attractive. They have a beautiful smile. That's the first thing you'll notice about them is they have an amazing smile. This person could be a little bit younger than you or they have like a naive kind of energy to them. It's very cute. It's very endearing. Um, I also see that uh, this is someone who will be very infatuated with you. Like you guys will fall into love really hard and really fast. Um, I also feel like this is somebody who always knows the truth. They're like a little psychic. Like they can read your mind. They always know the truth. You can't lie to this person. <laughs> they will call you out. Um, they're very clever. They're very intelligent. They have very liberal ideas. I definitely see this person as being like a teacher or something like that. This is somebody who's very fast paced, very quick. They rush. They might get ahead of themselves sometimes. Um, they're always wanting to share really interesting information with you, things that they're reading online, books that they're reading. They love to read. Maybe you guys bond over, you have a general love of reading or they'll introduce you to new books or new podcasts or new information. Um, this person will definitely help you to apply new theories into your life. They have a very abstract mind. Um, they're wonderful at communicating. Um, I also see that this is somebody who knows how to plan things out, knows how to impl implement really good systems. If they are working a traditional job, they're most likely somebody who's a boss or a supervisor or a leader or something like that. This person could be a very good parent too. Probably want to have children if that's something you're interested in. Next for another card to kind of paint a bigger picture of this person, we see the King of Summer. So this person does have some masculine qualities to them as far as they can be assertive. And I think this is because I see this person as kind of like a performer, somebody who's on stage or somebody who, um, yeah, just like there's performer qualities to them. They could like to dance, they could like to sing, like to write or speak or teach. Um, so we see this is a romantic partner that you can definitely trust. They have really good advice. Like if you're ever having a hard day, this person is going to be there. They're always going to have good advice. Um, and this person loves to experience different parts of culture. So they might love to travel and they're also very creative. So, you know, I feel like a perfect date for them would be maybe going to an art museum or something like that. So we've got some more information here. We've got the queen of winter. This person is strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny. So it makes sense since, uh, since they have such a big gift with communication with words that they're gonna say, you know, maybe some witty jokes or they might be good at cracking puns or something. Um, and this person is has really good boundaries. They have a really great group of friends around them. In the past, they have cut out a lot of people, a lot of things that don't serve them. People are naturally attracted to this person. Um, they're at a place in their life where they're really focusing on themselves and on their career. Um, they've never been married before. I don't see that. Um, they might not have really ever had a long-term relationship. You guys, like, you're going to be very special to this person because they're very independent, but it's like they want to spend their time with you. Princess of Winter, inquisitive, truthful, realistic, undiplomatic. Um, this person is just real. You can be real with them. You feel like you can be your true self around them. You feel like your authentic best around them. That's how you know. You're like, I can be my real self around them. I don't have to hide. I don't have to wear a mask. So this person always speaks the truth with, with kindness. This person might be like an indigo kind of person, like somebody who's kind of on their own path, a little different. Um, 
And we see new love, a message that this might be someone you don't know, you've never met before yet, or maybe they have yet to come in your life. So here's the chemistry card talking about an intense electricity between you guys, like intense physical. I don't know if we see a physical connection here for the chemistry, emotional, mental, all those good things. You guys can just vibrate at every level. So let's get some potential names. I pulled up some male names and some female names. Some of these names are really gender neutral as well. These are just some possibilities. So let's see what you think. We're gonna start with some names that sound a little bit more female or actually more male first. So we have um, Efren, Emmanuel, Ignacio, Troy, Russell, Caleb, Max, Kelton, Kaysen, Maverick, Austin, Carlos, Charles or Charlie, George, and Clinton. So those are some options. Next, we're going to do some possible female names. So we have Madeline, Macy, Maya, Amira, Brianne, Piper, Rose, Vanessa, Mara, Malia, Ivy, Kelsey, Allison, or Ali, Juliana, or Julie, Gabriella, or Gabby. I hope that that resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, and I'll see you later. All right, so for those of you guys who choose number four, let's get some information about this person that you're going to marry and even some potential names for them. So, wow, we have the Prince of Hearts. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that this person is male. This is just an energy, okay? This person could be female or they could identify as they. It's not necessarily about gender here, but we have the Prince of Hearts. This person is a romantic, okay? This is a very charming person, very attractive. Um, and this is a romantic spirit. They have a very poetic view of life and of love. Uh, this person's very sexual. <laughs> this person is very emotional. You know, they're very artistic. This person might be a singer or a writer or a dancer. They love music. This person absolutely loves music. They have a very ideal, idealistic view of love and of life and of romance. This is a dreamer, okay? This person is so once again so romantic and is somebody who really has been admiring you from afar for a while so you might know this person this might be someone you've been with before it could be somebody new for some of you guys okay um they are very passionate i keep saying that over and over again but they are and this is like a casanova type so they might have had a lot of relationships in the past they might be uh somebody that you're not sure will actually want to settle down with you and get married just because of their history or just they might hop from one relationship to the next but but i feel like there's something special about your connection and that's why they want to get married and they feel like you're the one um i also see that this person also indicates movement when this person comes in your life a lot of different things will start moving forward you might even physically move somewhere with this person they want to create like a love nest this person wants to build a beautiful home with you um this person can be they appear very thick-skinned but they're very very sensitive um, and I feel like they're not afraid to like talk about emotions or to talk about like us or whatever with you. So now we've got a clarifier on this person's energy and we see the Prince of Summer, somebody who's romantic, very captivating, very dramatic, very flirtatious. This person could be like an actor or somebody who likes to act or be on stage. 
Um, and when you meet this person, you will literally fall in love, like love at first sight. This is the kind of person that will sweep you off your feet. It's gonna be a very emotional experience. Might be hard to be grounded when you first meet this person. And here we go, two of summer. Um, you will fall in love with them, make a serious commitment right away. This might be a quick, uh, you know, romance might have that ring on your finger like within a year or so of meeting them. Um, and this is don't give up. Don't give up on the thought of this person. Maybe you want an energy like this. So I see engagement. And I also feel like since this person is so romantic, there could be some blockages to you guys meeting. Like if you know who this is, <clears throat> this person might be with somebody else right now. If you feel like you already know who this is, they might be in another relationship or they might be still trying to cut ties with somebody from the past or it could be a little complicated when you guys first meet. Um, I definitely see like you've always known it was this person or they always knew it was you. Love at first sight, strong like twin flame soulmate energy here or whatever you want to call it, just like they were made for you. And this is the engagement card mentioning you guys will be married here and very strong romantic feelings between you guys that just do not die. This is true love. This is once in a lifetime. This is that intense head over heels, butterflies in the stomach, confusing, complicated, crazy kind of love, you know? So let's get some possible names of this person, okay? So we're gonna generate some names here. Um, I have some a list of uh, girl names and, and guy names, and some of them are also kind of gender neutral. So we've got um, Peyton, Patricia, Maddie, Taryn, Fatima, Wendy, Cheyenne, Courtney, Maribel, Avery, Rachel, Laura, Deborah or Debbie, Soraya, Jalen, Sarah, Alia or Ali. All right. Now we're going to do some male names. I'm just using like a random name gener generator. Male names. Okay. Chase, Yandel, Ben, John, Oliver, August, Jamie, Darnell, Leroy, Nash, Gio, Giancarlo, Alden, Aiden, Charlie, Quentin, Juan, Christopher. All right, so I hope that that resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out. All right, so finally, for those of you guys who choose number five, are we on number five? Basically for those of you guys who choose the last one. But let's go ahead and get the energy of this person, what they're like, who will you marry, and we'll even generate some names. So here we have the Queen of Wands. So just because we see a female here on this card does not mean that this person's female. They could be female, they could be male, or they could be a they. It's, you know, really up to what you're into and whatnot, okay? So it doesn't necessarily mean this person's female, this is just an energy. So this is a very charismatic, self-assured person. They know how to get things done. They're a natural born leader. They're very creative. And this is the kind of person that wants to like support a certain mission or a certain cause in life. They're a total empath. Um, this person is very authoritative, very self-assured. Uh, this person does not care about other people's uh, opinions. So being around them is very infectious because they're, they're so fun and they've got this like really intense kind of uh, energy of passion and creativity. They're always looking for a cause or something creative to do. And they, they live their life in a really free spirited way. So this is a free spirited person, maybe a bit of a hippie. <laughs> um, they're very social. They're always making friends. 
if they have a business, they're always attracting clients, they're always attracting um, you know, good situations in their life. Um, this is somebody who is good at helping people. They want to encourage people. They want to inspire people. They're very energetic. People are res really respect them. And I keep wanting to say her because I do feel a female energy, but it's, it's like this very divine feminine energy of compassion and healing and, and love and inspiration and nurturing. Um, but this once again could be a male or could be a they. Um, this person has a very fiery energy. This, some, this is a person who likes to nurture inspiration. People depend on them for blessings and for advice. This person likes uh, being outdoors and going on hikes and exercising. Um, so wonderful energy here. Now we have the Queen of Spring, someone who's brilliant, loyal, talented, and friendly. This person is definitely someone who's recognized um, and they've cultivated the ability to be able to believe in themselves. And because they believe in themselves, they believe in others. So they, they have really good connections um, and they also have a good balance between work and home. I feel like whatever they do for their job is something that they absolutely love and it just flows naturally into their life. Um, next we have this queen of summer energy, somebody who's once again nurturing, very loving, very comforting, very emotional, very intuitive, very sensual type of energy. This person believes in following your heart 100%, somebody who's very intuitive, somebody who likes to take care of others. As a career, this person could be a doctor or a nurse or a counselor or an advisor or some type of artist or something like that. Um, and they're very gentle, very sensitive, very kind. Um, and this is somebody um, I feel like that's new in your life or someone you decide to kind of like Maybe somebody who starts off as a friend and you decide to kind of take this to the next level with them or something like that. This person likes going to social events. So they're going to take you to different events and they're going to kind of get you out of your bubble. Um, they're very compassionate. You feel like you can share concerns in your life with this person or what's really happening in your life and they're not going to judge you. Um, and then we see passion here, an intense physical connection with this person, very intense um, strong, passionate energy and an attraction. Like you don't know why. Maybe you can't put your finger on quite what it is you're attracted to in them, but you're just attracted to them for some reason. They have a very unconventional beauty or unconventional um, kind of allure to them. So you're very attracted to them. So let's go ahead and generate some female names and some male names, okay? Some of these names are also pretty gender neutral. We've got some male names here. Uh, potential names are Zachary, Cameron, Trey, Patrick, Oscar, Carson, Jeremiah, Eric, Walker, Juan, Isaiah, Raul, Xavier, Turner, Elias, Edwin, Edward, Charlie. All right generate some female names here so we've got hang on I'm still I'm just using like a name generator <laughs> okay Persephone Jaden Yasmin Malia Juliana or Julie Juliet Gia Marisol Carissa Sinai Kyla or Kylie, Molly, Gianna, Parker, Mariah, Eleanor, Ellen, Jessica. All right. I hope that that resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you later. Peace out.